Now, the management of Group Indum has petitioned the flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, John Dramani Mahama, to reinstate the GN Bank if he wins the December 7 elections. According to the global president of Group Indum, Dr. Papakwisi Indum, 300 banking centers are deteriorating nationwide. Channel 1 News' Philip Nilati has more in the following report. In August 2019, the Bank of Ghana BOJ revoked the licenses of 23 insolvent savings and loans companies and financial house companies. The affected institutions include Ideal Finance, GN Savings and Loans, First Allied Savings and Loans, ASN Financial Services, Midland Savings and Loans, IFX Financial Services, Unicredit Savings and Loans, and Women's World Banking Savings and Loans, among others. The revocation of the licenses has halted the operations of GN Bank and customers of the financial institutions are unable to assess their locked up funds. During an interaction with the former president, Dr. Papakwesi Indum appealed for the next NDC government to restore GN Bank's license. So our point is, uh, and I have also said it a number of places in, in the country, that we believe that if this administration doesn't give us our license before they leave and start paying the money before they leave, we believe that the next one uh, will understand the situation and, and give the license back. So we are continuing with the hope and preparing and working our plans with the hope that um, at some point we will get the license back and we'll bring the jobs back. Flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, John Dramani Mahama, criticized the NPP government's decision to revoke licenses of some indigenous financial institutions as part of the 2019 banking sector cleanup, calling it as a hasty action. He says his administration has plans to initiate an independent review of the banking sector cleanup process. I do think that... Um it was hasty and it's affected indigenous capital in the financial and banking sector. And we have pledged that we would work to restore, you know, um, the uh, capital of indigenous businesses in the financial sector. And so we are advocating an independent review of the processes that went into uh, the banking sector clean out. And where we believe these were unjustifiable, look at the restoration of the licenses of these banks. The management of Group Indum has petitioned John Ramani Mahama to ensure that the next NDC government reinstates GN Bank. The former president has also given his word to the management that the NDC administration will look into the issues and the needful will be done. Reporting for Channel 1 TV, my name is Philip Nee Latte. <laughs>